Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You are watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays, and today I'm going to show you how to add light to your photo without using an action, just using a layer mask and the gradient tool. So we're going to start with this photo here. I've already done a couple of tweaks to it just to boost up the color, and I'm going to show you how to add some light. So we're going to go down to this new adjustment layer icon down here, and we're going to select solid color. And from here you can choose any color that you want your light to be. So I'm going to kind of choose a yellow-ish color, maybe a little bit deeper yellow, and I'm going to hit OK. So now that we've added this solid color to our photo, before we turn it into light, we want to adjust the blend mode. So a nice blend mode for light is usually overlay or soft light. I'm going to choose soft light for this one. And there is our light. Now, again, I don't want this light to be all over my whole photo. I want to bring it in gradually, kind of from the right hand side here. So now I'm going to make sure that my layer mask is selected and I'm actually going to invert my layer mask. So if you'll remember from me talking about layer masks so many times in the past, um, a white layer mask is revealing the entire layer and a black layer mask is concealing the entire layer or making it invisible. So I want to make this layer invisible so that I can bring the light in gradually. And so to do that, on a Mac you're going to hit Command I on your keyboard or on a PC you can hit Control I. And so that just is inverting the layer mask so that it's not visible. Now the next step is to go to our gradient tool. And so it's actually on our toolbar here, and it's usually in the same spot as the paint bucket. Just make sure that you're on the gradient tool. Or you can hit G on your keyboard if you want to get to it that way. So now that we are on the gradient tool, we want to come up and make sure that we are on our foreground to background gradient, which is this top left icon up here. And so we're going to make sure that that one is selected. And then right next to that is this little kind of menu of different types of gradients that you can use to apply to your image. And for this one we're going to use linear, so make sure that your linear gradient is selected here. And now because we're painting on black and our gradient is foreground to background, we actually do want our foreground color brush to remain black and not white. If we were to make it white and then we paint it on our gradient, it would actually do the opposite and we don't want that. We want to brush light on, not brush it off. So I'm going to just undo that. And now making sure that our foreground color is set to black, um, to drag a gradient down, you just kind of pick a spot up in whichever corner of your image that you want the light to start in, and you're gonna pull it down and into your image. And so you're gonna kind of pick a spot to stop where you want the light to stop. It's gonna kind of fade away right about where your mouse is over here. So I'm gonna click about there, and that has brought some really nice light into our image. And it really is that simple. If you don't like it, you can just go up and undo and try again. You can do this any number of times until you get the desired look that you're looking for. So I'm gonna, again, just start mine from up here, kind of on the right, and I'm gonna bring my gradient down here. Now once you've applied the light to your image, if you find that maybe the coloring is off or you're not quite liking the look that you have, because it's just a solid color, all you have to do is double click on this color to change it. So I'm gonna kind of move this out of the way so we can see what um, the change is doing here. But if you wanted, say, like a warmer kind of reddish tone, you could change it to that. Or if you wanted it to be like a deeper yellow, um, or even just a light white if you wanted it to be kind of a white light, you could bring light in that way as well. So that is just a really quick way to add beautiful light to your photo using a layer mask and the gradient tool. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for a new tutorial, please email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can pop on over to Facebook and find me there at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.